All right, we've now reaching for step four where we're going to tie the strap off. We've woven the camel all the way um, through the 16 holes. It's still very loose. Bottom ring is still fairly well centered to the nub at the bottom here. You want this ring to try and stay pretty even with this ring so that it's not pulled way over one side. Uh, it's not ultimately a problem if it is, but my theory is that if this ring is uh, centered well, it's, uh, the drum stays in tune a little better. Um, so the first thing one has to do once you've got this bar is to tie off the very first tie off, which is the start of your uh, work on this wonderful project. Um, I like to uh, take the excess about uh, the, first, the first tie off, take about three, three and a half inches and um, now this strap has already been on here so it's it's already uh, you know <clears throat> set for this uh, tie off. It's bent there and sort of formed as you can see. But if if you're using new strap um, I would recommend uh, bending this and not, not, not crinking it with the pliers but, but uh, bending it a little bit and get it so that it's molded so you uh, don't have such a big bulging tie off there and come underneath the ring and back over and uh, then I cross it over once and back over so there's the simple tie off very effective but simple just one tie off again I'll show you and the tie off is very very important that it doesn't loosen up so you're coming over under across one time and back underneath and pull that tension. Now sometimes it's nice to take a hammer and just kind of gently tap that into form. That will help keep it also. Now we're going to start the process of pulling the tension and uh, I'm not going to wear my gloves because then you won't see it so well so uh, uh, <clears throat> I'll put them on when I do the real rougher stuff but now we're just going to be kind of pulling the strap but not uh, super tight just uh, <clears throat> getting the excess and this is uh, important that you're not pulling tight otherwise down here on the bottom you'll be pulling that ring way over so <clears throat> I'm just uh, weaving it through itself and uh, getting it taut but not super tight And there's the tie off for the <clears throat> bottom ring. So it's somewhere halfway across. That's a good concept. In India, they have what are called tabla wallas, little tabla shops where the men do this for you. But in America, there are no tabla wallas. If you play tabla here in the United States, you probably would be well advised to learn how to do this especially if you make it a hobby of yours where you play a lot and the skins break you'll either be sending it off to the Ali Akbar College store in San Rafael to be fixed or you'll be doing it yourself right here <clears throat> so you can see I'm gathering much more slack it's coming through and I'm pulling gently but getting it so that it's starting to weave tightly. Now again we check the bottom ring and we're pretty good. Here's the excess. I'm going to slip that underneath for the final tie off. Voila!